Hello, this is Chris, ZL1CVD. Uh, a little project I've been working on now for well, since the beginning of last year, 2024, uh, is an ARC-174 HF aircraft transceiver. Uh, it comprises, it's a Collins-made set. Uh, it comprises of a Collins... 671U A4 receiver exciter uh, 514A-7 uh, control unit and a 548S3 uh, tuner coupler uh, that's the output of it I've got it going through to a, an SWR meter here and then it connects to my antenna outside the Tuna coupler has a, a an RF connection to the receiver exciter and a control cable that comes in to the receiver exciter. Uh, the other side of the control cable goes to the uh, well, one lead of the control cable goes to the um, control unit. And I bought the audio wiring out here to a standard US military connector. That's going into an ABP. Um, external speaker uh, of which I've connected into the microphone input uh, a USB rig link and from there it goes the USB rig link goes to a uh, US, USB connection to my little computer up there um, so I can do FT8 with it and I have been doing so this morning and I've logged contacts here you can see my contacts that I've logged um, and this is from New Zealand, I'm in New Zealand and I made contacts through to Australia, Indonesia, Polmark, Denland, Ukraine, Norfolk, Portugal, Australia, United States uh, and Russia's in there as well so yeah it's working it's working quite well it's a it's quite a clunker um, as Collins usually are uh, there's a lot of uh, mechanical uh, relay switching and also uh, roller inductor and I think uh, uh, maybe variable capacitor in here as well uh, for the antenna tuning side of things. Um, so the control unit, let's have a look, look at the control unit. Okay, it has, um, and as I'm changing you'll hear the relays clicking in, the, in here. Um, the control unit has nine preset uh, frequencies and one, the very first position of the switch here is the scratch pad so I can change the, um, turn it off and on, change the mode and what have you. Here, up sideband, low sideband, AMCW and this I think is for a, 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 a some sort of data unit that they use for the aircraft, upper or lower sideband. Okay, so, and you change frequency by these toggles, these up-down toggles, allow you ch to change frequency. Um, and that's only in the scratch pad position when it's in the program position here. Um, you can't change anything, mode or anything like that. To program it, you uh, go turn it into program mode and then you can change um, and you press the load button and it sets that in there so now channel 1 will always be that frequency so but we don't want it to be that we want it to be that so we'll send it back and put it back into operate mode uh, here's a volume and a squelch control here so yeah it draws about uh, it draws about uh, just over 2 amps on receive and we'll, we'll set it up transmitting, we'll go to a band where there's a little bit of activity and there's a little bit on 20 meters here uh, I can hear it in the speaker um, 15 was quite active before we'll go back to um, 20 meters and um, now of course there's no cat control here so I have to go back and manually set this to 20 meters otherwise it'll log the contact in a, any contact in the wrong on the wrong band 
clear all our messages. And when we tune, right, I don't know if you heard that or not, but it was whirring and carrying on. Um, so that's how it tunes up. And there's a VK7 here. We'll see if we can contact him. Just across the pond here. I'm located here, down here. And VK7, I think, somewhere up there. Or uh, He's in Kingston, Tasmania. So he's in Tasmania here. So there we go. We're just transmitting to him now. I have uh, a Harris here, which... Um, uh, what are we on? 20... Uh, 14 megahertz. So I've got the Harris set up so I can just monitor the um, transmission. But when she transmits, uh, puts out, it draws about, uh, draws, a, we'll see in a minute. Okay, so we're drawing about 12 and a half amps there. And you can hear in the background there on the Harris that it's going okay. So yeah, it's a, it's quite a nice radio. Uh, as I say, it's taken me almost two years to put it all together. Um, the circular connect connectors are certainly not cheap, and uh, uh, quite a few misorders, uh, uh, mi uh, incorrect ordering on my part, wrong connectors. Um, I got them from America Mill Spec, and they were very, very good. You know, even though I ordered wrong ones, they um, they accepted the returns on the wrong ones and then resent out the correct ones. Um, I should have just asked for the correct part numbers to start off with, and they would have been only too happy to help. Um, but yeah, it's a it's a great setup. And over here in the background, you can see that our uh, contact to uh, Tasmania has completed. And now we've got a Russian station uh, calling us. So we'll give him a, a response back to him. And uh, anyway, that's the uh, ARC-174 transceiver. Uh, an old girl getting a, a new life, as it were. All right, thanks for watching my video. Cheers.